Kamala Harris is doing what Trump did in 2016 that they're not doing now, and I guess it is hard to do now, she's throwing a party. And I said this months ago. I said it months ago. I said the person who throws the party is going to win. And I guess it is a little, you know, it's harder to throw a party after somebody just shot at your head because usually that would stop a party. Somebody shoots you and it grazes your ear, the party's kind of over. It's hard to, to bounce back from that and throw a party. But Kamala is throwing a party. She doesn't believe in anything. Well, she's flip-flop. It's not flip-flop. She doesn't believe. It wasn't that. It isn't this. She wasn't for it before she was against it. She's, it's nothing. It has no uh, foundation in reality. None of it matters. The Democrats are living in a post-reality world of parties. People are twerking. People are singing. There's yas queening. It, it has nothing to do with anything that you, it's not tangible. You can't touch it. It's the sphere. <laughs> do you see? The people come in. They herd them in. Come in, fatty. Sit in your seat and look, it's pretty colors. It's things that are flying by a mile a minute. Kamala Harris is instantly, rel- yes, play this. Play this. That's right. That's right. This is the campaign. These are the policies. These are the, po- this is what you're going to get. These are the policies. This is what you're voting. You're voting for this. They're not even trying. And by the way, this is brilliant. They're not even trying to put out. Yeah, it's, there you go. Let's get rid of that. But they're, the people that, by the way, they have their perfect candidate, half Indian, half black, attractive woman. Every billionaire on earth, this is, if you were going to build a robot in a lab that would be secretly controlled by billionaires, it is Kamala Harris. It doesn't help that J.D. Vance is bombing with his ferret face or whatever. He has this strange kind of he has his beady eyes. It, no one likes tech people, even right-wing ones. No one likes tech people. Stop with the nerds. The Republicans thought that they were going to get they were going to build a bridge to the nerds with this guy. Stop with the nerds. People don't like nerds. No matter what ideological stance they have. He's not cuz on one side you've got this guy and on the other side, you have it's people are twerking, people are on Molly, the glow sticks are out. It's fun. Kamala is the candidate. She is, she would be built if she was. You know what's that line about Israel? If Israel didn't exist, we would have to invent her. If Kamala Harris did not exist, billionaires would have to invent her. Half Indian, half black, attractive woman. Childless, she's a career bitch. Or should I say, bish, B-I-S-H. Kamala Harris would have to be invented if she did not already exist. She is hollow in, in the best way. Meaning certain people, when they are hollow, there is something deeply uneasy about them because some of them would want to not be hollow. There is some humanity in them that is trying to escape. Kamala is so at home with her hollowness. She has been eaten by ambition. It is stage four. It has gone to the brain. It is that laughter. It is that kind of, she is perfectly comfortable with being used as a tool by other people to say anything and do anything. She is kind of the perfect candidate for America at the current stage it is. That's why everyone was like, oh, when Rogan said, I could see her winning. It wasn't an endorsement of her. We just, when you look back and you analyze it and you look at it, who's bet? Now, yes, she can't speak. She does it, you know, it's like, you know, the robots, when the robot, you know, the early generations of the robots, when you roll them out, they make mistakes. They're not that impressive. But from far away, 
if you choose the angle at which they are observed, you're like, oh my God, that's fucking cool. Those little Boston Dynamics dogs that just keep walking by. But then they walk into the wall a few times. You go, oh, this isn't that great. However, when you first see the Boston Dynamics robot dog, you go, whoa, this is wild. Now, listen, Kamala is the most relatable person immediately. She's a person who is not qualified for her job. That is most Americans don't feel qualified for their jobs and aren't and aren't. Most Americans spend four years in college getting fed uh, gobbledygook and horse shit, and then they have to go on an interview or a series of interviews and say, I'm going to make the marketing at this company so good, and they don't know what they're doing because no one really does. In the beginning, when I first started to become uh, a, a comedian, I was not qualified for my job, but I'd have to go out and tell people I'm a comedian. They'd go, yeah, okay. You know, it's when you start a podcast and no one's listening. You go, I've got a podcast. They go, really? It's everybody in this country. It's act as if. Fake it till you make it. It's the. It's maybe the main American thing is to be full of shit until the rest of your surroundings conform to the level of bullshit that you have been spewing for years. Kamala is perfectly at home and perfectly calm and at peace with being full of shit, being unqualified. She gets it. She understands, and Americans understand too. They go, we kind of like this woman because she is not bothered by the fact that she is an empty vessel. She just wants to be the president, bitch. And wouldn't you? Wouldn't you want to be the president? It's every person that has no business doing what they're doing, which is such a large swath of this country. No business doing what they're doing. There's a, they have a soft spot for Kamala. Even I look at Kamala, and she will wreck the country and the world. They will wreck the, the people. And by the way, not even her. The people that are behind her will destroy Earth. And I don't know if anyone will be able to stop them from destroying Earth, no matter who's in. But they will accelerate the process of destroying Earth. And people will dance into the, uh, you know, they will dance into the fire pits. And it, it's just, but maybe that is better. I don't know. No one has heard anything from her. No one knows anything. Everything she says is crazy. She was not allowed to speak as a vice president. She was given strict orders to not speak. She was given strict orders to not say anything. Everything she said was crazy. You act like you fell out of a coconut tree. Like she tries on different accents. She has different sayings. She makes up family members that don't exist. You know, my aunt used to say that the future is just a pet. Like, I mean, yeah, I mean, just play anything she said. Play anything. Is this her new accent? New accent. Yeah. And you all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. Yes, we will. That's right. Yes, we will. She, look at her. She's like, uh, yeah. So there's that great moment right after she does that. It's great. Play that again. Watch her right after she delivers. She's in disbelief. <laughs> She's in full disbelief. Watch her after she delivers that 2024. She is in full, because by the way, in the middle of the night, they knocked on her door. It was like Game of Thrones. They knocked on her door. They're like, Joe's out. And she's like, oh, what do you mean? They go, he's out. And you're in. And if and it was Obama and Pelosi. Cy Hirsch just wrote the article. And they're like, and if you don't gain traction, you're out. So follow me. And she had to follow these people by candlelight. They led her down a long corridor, a long hall, and she's being led. And they all have sleeping caps on. It's the Middle Ages. And she's going down a long hall, and she goes into her room. Uh, but it, So she has no idea how this even happened. But, it, but she's handling it well. She smiles, and she's kind of goofy and silly, and she doesn't know. She's like a teacher. She's like a teacher who's in front of the class, and she's like... <gasps> Oh, I'm in front of the, I was just in school, not even a couple of months ago, but now I'm in front of the class and now it's my classroom and these are my students. Watch her face after 2024 because she's taking it all in. 
And you all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yeah, I mean, she's like, I am, I cannot believe they are allowing this. I cannot believe, but believe it, because she's winning. <laughs>